Hey there, Tularinos. I uh, was uh, in Pennsylvania recently uh, for my anniversary, and uh, I stopped at an antique shop, and I was really only going to look for normal kind of things, but because of Scout Crafters' hammer challenge, I decided to look at the hammers. And uh, I picked up two very interesting hammers that I hadn't seen before. You can see it's got a nail holder in the back of the hammer. And uh, it took me quite a bit of googling and looking up and that uh, patent number um, since most of the logo was missing off this um, I figured it out it was uh, Henry Cheney uh, patented hammer made in Little Falls New York so it has a patented nail holder. Apparently the original one held cut nails, and this is the later one that held wire nails. Um, I'm not going to turn this into a short handle hammer for the Scout Crafter Challenge, but uh, I only happened upon it because I was looking at the hammers. <clears throat> this one has obviously seen better days. There's a chunk missing out of the top and uh, there's a chunk missing out of the uh, the octagonal face. The handle's in pretty good shape but, uh, but the hammer has some issues and uh, I also found its littler brother that uh, the handle is in very sad shape. The nail holders all rusted up. It looks like one of the springs is gone or failed. One of the bearings is uh, kicked over to the side, um, stuck in its hole. You can see there's a, a screw that screws in there as a plug. So that's how you put the uh, the springs and the, the bearings in. The face on this one's in better shape, but then the bottom corner of this one's mashed. It's uh, not quite sure how something like that happens to it. There appears to be paint on the smashed part and all this side of the hammer. So it's not original paint. Somebody splashed it with paint or something quite thoroughly. I haven't cleaned the face of this one yet to see if the logo is in better shape on this one. So I'm going to clean it up and then we'll see what the if that logo cleaned up any better than the, uh, than the bigger one with the octagonal head.